What's the message of Christianity? Jesus died on the cross. Right. Why, why is it so important Jesus died for your sins? Because we can't we can't break it Right. God doesn't say what you just said. There's no other way. Well, God doesn't say that. But the Bible, the message. The Bible doesn't say what you just said. Who raised the dead? God raised the dead. Who cured the leper? God cured the leper. Who parted? <laughs> Through the power of God. Yeah. Jesus says, by myself I can do nothing. So God says, according to Ezekiel, to get rid of sin, you repent. Right? That's the first thing. So, your Bible is against this idea that you need a blood sacrifice. That's the first point. That's the first point. Second problem you have now. You believe Jesus then became the final sacrifice of so no more animals, yeah? Is that correct? He was the final sacrifice. Right. If this is the case, why are animal sacrifices going to recommence when the temple's rebuilt? Why are you so passionate? So against Christianity? Has something happened in your life? No, nothing at all. That you are like so close? Not at all. I, I, I look at you guys as I look at Hindus, as I look at any of the false beliefs. Can you imagine if you put the passion that you have towards trying to misinterpret the Bible into. What are you talking about? I haven't misinterpreted anything. I quoted it verbatim. Twenty years ago. Yeah, just as a, point, as, a, as a point of reference. I would probably have done what most people do. They would. I was born a Methodist. Um, okay, fair enough. Yeah, never, never really bothered about God, uh, whether God exists, whether God didn't exist. Yeah. So I wouldn't say I was an atheist denying God's existence. Right. I would say I didn't even think about it. Why the question? Was I a Christian? Oh, no. I think you were, you were, you were, sorry, I, I, I thought you were from a Christian background. So okay. I went wrong. All right. It's, it's like I was saying, um, at one point, uh, I didn't really think about God. Yeah, I remember as a kid going to Sunday school and stuff like that. I remember w w uh, in the church choir to uh, earn money, you know, doing weddings and stuff like that. But I was never a believer or a disbeliever. I, I grew up in a white council estate and the last thing you worry about is God. <laughs> yeah, it's just about dealing with life issues and such. Um, so it was when I was asked by a Muslim specifically do I believe in a creator? And then when I thought about it and I challenged the idea of the universe existing and all of these things, I come to the conclusion there must be something. But that even at that point, I said, I don't believe in man-made religion though. I believe that's to control the masses, the weak need a crutch, all of this business. But I can concede that this universe didn't create itself, that it required a cause, because as we know, everything that begins to exist needs a cause. And according to science, this universe began to exist. Therefore, it also requires a cause. So what do you believe? Okay. Okay. Why, why, why do you believe that? I believe it because I've, I've challenged myself. I, I wasn't a Christian like as a child or anything. I became a Christian when I was about 11 and I started to actually think about it. It was like, why do we exist? Why are we here on earth? And, what's going to happen to me when I die? And then I started reading the Bible and realizing that it was the truth. What, what, what was it about the Bible that you thought was truthful? Oh, because it's like looking in a mirror and seeing all the little things about yourself. What, what do you mean? Because the, the crux of Christianity, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and I did a discussion last week about this with another Christian girl. You, you can. I think it's because every other religion requires you to be something that you're not. Whereas the Bible is still true that if you believe in God, it's nothing you do, it's what he does for you. No, no, but yeah, yeah. But in Islam, in Islam, grace is exactly the same. You can't get to paradise through your works. It's through the grace of God. Yeah, because there's a beautiful tradition in Islam where the man who done so many good good deeds and he was asked by God, "Do you want me to give you paradise for your good deeds or my mercy?" Yeah, and because he thought he was such a good person, yeah, um, he, he was going to say deeds, but then then Allah said to him, "You, there's nothing you can do to thank me for your." eyesight just as just the gift of sight there's no nothing you can do to compensate that you understand so this is when the man realized that it's not his deeds so our deeds is not what's going to get us to paradise we, we have no issue with that yeah I mean the difference between us Muslims and you Christians is the idea of God that you believe God is a uh, father son Holy Spirit co-equal Trinity and such yeah so my, my main question for you is well, who told you that 
No, no. You, you you could say it's the truth based on what? Based on the Bible. All right. There's n there's nowhere in the Bible is this idea that a Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal in a Trinity mentioned anywhere. Nowhere. What's your big problem? I'm sorry. What's your big problem with the Trinity? Why is it so impossible? No, no. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying where you get the idea from. Yeah. Show him. He asks you, show me where is in the paper. In the Bible, where is the Trinity mentioned? The word Trinity or the concept of concept. Oh, give me one example. Right from the beginning. Give me one example in the New Testament where God is referred to as three in one. Well, you've got, it's, it's, not, it's not like one as in one place where it says Trinity. If that was the case, could you say in the Quran where it says Allah is really just... Yeah, we could. You know, yes. we, have, we have that actual word. Yes. The actual word. What? The concept. No, no, because you're saying that you don't want our concept. You're saying that you want us to say where the words are. No, I didn't. Right. No, I didn't. I didn't. I asked you, where do you get the concept from? Oh, right. I think, well, in the beginning, what's the word? The word was God, and the word was with God. Okay, okay. Yeah. If you want to use John 1 1, we'll roll with that. So, who is God in this conundrum? The Trinity. In the beginning was the Word. Who is the Word? The Word's God. So in the beginning was God. Yes. And the God was with God. And the God was God. Yes. Well, I don't understand your point. I agree with you. In the beginning was God. Yeah, but you're taking one word, but you need to take the whole word. No, well, let's start with, let's start with John 1 1, which you quoted. Who is the Word according to John 1 1? Well, it's God. All right. See, that, that's the answer. Jesus. Yep. No Christian would ever say God is the Word. No Christian. Well, you but, except you. The word. Well, so yes. Okay. So who's the Word? Well, it's Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Who is God? God is God. Oh, no, no, Jesus. Ah. No, no, no. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Who, right? Who is God? No, no, no. I asked him why he, why he was no, like, why, well, you asked him, asked him where he sort of, so I just wonder why God made the Trinity. I know, I know, yeah. Why? So what was your I question? don't see what the problem with the Trinity is, like, okay. Well, it goes against the teachers of all the prophets. Father, and he sent his son, Jesus, and it... No, it's a bit of, look, look, the story is one thing, the reality is another. If, see, if the Trinity is false, yeah, you're, you're being a pagan, uh, according to God, and God's going to burn you in hellfire. If, if what you're doing is wrong, yeah? Would you agree? I believe what does God say he'll do to those who associate partners with him? What will he do to those who associate partners with him? Jazakallah. I'm waiting for some coffee. Jazakallah. No, what did God? What will God do to those who associate partners other than Him? So worship idols. Worship false gods. What's God going to do? It, I'll deal with each question. No problem. No, no. I said worship other than God. Well, if they believe in God, nobody's perfect. No, no. Those who worship other than God, they they are. Uh, any idols above God. Alhamdulillah. That's the true. That's the correct answer. Yeah. So if the Trinity is false, but you're associating Jesus with God, you are. No, 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 no. It, no, 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 no. What my, the young lady here asked, what's the problem with the Trinity? The problem is this. It could be classed as paganism. It could be classed as ascribing partners with God. So it's very, very important to make sure it's true. Because if it's not true, then you're associating partners with God. So this is why I'm trying to understand. Now, you brought John 1 1 as your example as a Trinity, yeah? So I'm asking you, who is God according to John 1 1? Okay, so I'm just going to go right back and backtrack and just leave the Trinity for a minute. So he had asked why this is not going to be called. Why do you believe in Allah? Yeah, why you chose the Muslim faith? That's what she asked. She didn't ask you what you thought the Trinity. She asked you why you became a Muslim. Okay, why do you believe Jesus is a prophet of God? Why are you asking me that when I'm asking you? All right, because you have to understand consistency. I'll give you an example. You believe Jesus is a prophet of God. God or messenger of God or God, yeah, due to due to his miracles, yes, yes. What is it you're asking me? Sorry. Why do you believe Jesus was divine? Was God? Was uh, uh, son of God? His, his birth was pre, pre miracles. It was, no, it was predetermined. It, if you read the Old right, Testament, the, Old Testament. the Torah. Okay. His, his birth. His, his okay. Birth. Okay. Way back. The birth of who? The birth of God. Yes, the birth of Jesus. Birth no, of Jesus no, listen, if Jesus is the Messiah, well, and, 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 and this... Okay. Okay. Her question was why you became a Muslim. Okay, because I believe the Quran is a miracle given to Muhammad, just as the miracles of healing and such was given to Jesus, and just as the miracles of illusion and magic was given to Moses. 
Maček. Moses. Moses. No, no. The, the, uh, gave, what's that gave Moses the ability for the staff to turn them yeah. on? Uh, yeah, and, and, and God gave Jesus the ability. What is it? The toothbrush? No, no, no. Just as Moses was given the ability. Who's that? That's what Muhammad used to say in his teeth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Can I, can I demonstrate that with No, 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 no. <laughs> just, just as uh, Moses was given the just as Moses was given the ability to um, <laughs> turn stake and his staff into snake and part the sea. So you're saying that Jesus was given this through God? Yes, of course he was. No, because he is God. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He is. Okay, first thing, I'll say it again to you. How is he able to heal the sick? How is he able to... What does Jesus say? How does Jesus say he's able to do these things? Through God. Through God, yes. Through himself or through God? Through God. Right, so I agree. So there's no difference. Sorry, just looking at you having food. No, 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 no. Jesus does what he does. You can't answer. I don't mind. Yeah. YouTube. It'll go on YouTube. I'll give you the channel, don't worry. Oh, no. Okay. So basically, Jesus ch channels God's power. Moses channels God's power. Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him, channels God's power. Yeah, there's no differentiation. Because miracles of God are miracles of God. Yeah? Who raised the dead? God raised the dead. Who cured the leper? God cured the leper. Who parted... <laughs> through the power of God. Yeah. Jesus says, by myself I can do nothing. So give me one example of Jesus' divinity. God raised him, according to what God says. No, no, no. Who raised Jesus? Who raised Jesus? Did Jesus raise himself? Jesus didn't raise himself. So even if Jesus... And that's when he wants to avoid the Trinity. So that's when he doesn't want the answer your question. No, 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 no. He just instantly goes on. First thing, my young lady here said, why is it a problem with the Trinity? So I explained why the problem was. Then, and then, then I was asked why I believe what I believe. And I'm, I'm also asking what you believe, what you believe. She said she became a Christian when she was age 11. I'm asking for the reasons. She, she said the Bible, yeah. She said the Bible was the reasons. So then I questioned her with regards to this matter. And, that, and that's where we were. And then, and then you deflected to John 1.1, 1, 1, which I'm happy to do. I don't mind. Because let's look at John 1.1. 1, 1. Can God exist outside of a Trinity? But he's always, he's, he's eternal, he's, he's always been eternal. Right, so he can't, so, so when you say God, is there relevance of this as to what, whether... I'll explain to you. Okay. Can God exist other than a trinity, according to your understanding? He has always been like He's always... Been. It can only, only be trinity. He's always been trinity. Can they be separated? What do you mean, can they be separated? Can the trinity be separated? What do you mean? Can, can you call God, God without, if it's not a trinity? I don't really know what you mean. Okay. Understand. When you say God, okay. When you say God... God the Father, God as Jesus, and God, God... I don't know what you believe. But I'm saying to you. But I don't know what you mean, cannabis. I don't know what you mean. Cannabis. Okay. Can we talk about something other than the Trinity? No. Because I don't even say the relevance. And shall, I, shall I explain the relevance again to you? Yeah. Okay. If the Trinity is false, yeah, then what you're doing is paganism. And according to God, if you ascribe partners with God, that's it's not false. Christianity. No, 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 no. No, but that's, that's not if you want to, no, 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 but this is, no, no, no. There's two things going on here. I'll tell, explain what it is. God You're saying it doesn't matter. Trinity, Trinity doesn't matter. It's an example. All right. You say tr we're saying Trinity we're is Trinity is oh. what you you want to talk. No, she says why does Trinity matter? Yeah, and that's we've so explained that to you, but now what she's saying is No but no no but the one I'm saying to her No no but you, no look she's asking why does Trinity matter, yes? And I'm answering her why Trinity matters, because if it's wrong, then you're saying it's not wrong. So, so what do I do now? Do I challenge your concept of Trinity is not wrong? Or do I still address her? No, because she has said that's okay, can we talk about something other I think you're Well let's talk about sin. Would you like to talk about sin? No, we'd like to talk I think she's satisfied with your answer. Do you accept? Do you accept? All right. Do you accept? Do you accept? The crux of Christianity is Jesus on the cross. No, the crux of Christianity is Jesus is part of a trinity. Because if there's no trinity, Jesus isn't God. 
That's if Jesus didn't die on the cross, then we are. Why do you have such a problem believing in the Trinity? No, no, no. I'll tell you why I have a problem with the, the problem with the Trinity, yeah, because it's it's idolatry. That's why. I believe God is one. God is a three different aspect. Right. Like spirit, are you all just physical? L have listen, you have a mind, you have a soul. You have listen, be careful now. What you're doing now, you're slipping into heresy here, yeah? You can't say God is both is mind, body, and soul, because the Trinity is co equal yet distinct. Now, my mind, body, and soul are all together, they're not distinct. You know talk about sin, and now you're still on the Trinity. If you want to talk about sin, we'll talk about sin. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. Tell me about the Holy Spirit. When Show me anywhere, anywhere in the New Testament. The Holy Spirit is what you Show me anywhere. No, 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 no. Show me anywhere in the New Testament where the Holy Spirit is recognized as God. Yes, anywhere. The Feast of Pentecost. Where does it say he was God? Where? Yeah, the Holy Spirit is God. Where? Pentecost. It doesn't. The Spirit can come upon everybody. The Spirit can come upon you. Listen, God's Spirit can come upon you. Yeah, that's one thing. There's no issue with that. Yeah? To claim the Spirit is actually a third co equal God. Spirit of God. No, no. Can you blaspheme against God? You can only blaspheme against God, can't you? You can't blaspheme against an angel or prophets. Do you, would you believe that? Say it again. Do you believe you can? You no, no. I, I believe you can. If you can blaspheme against. If you say a man who's, who claims to be a prophet and he's not a prophet and he is a prophet, that's blasphemy. You bla okay, but I think from a Christian perspective, you would only say you can only blaspheme God, really. Unless, unless, um, and it mentions, it mentions no, 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 no. Look, here's what you got to understand: the Holy Spirit did not become God for, for 380 years. Yeah, there was no I concept. It was a gift. No, no. No, no. Listen, let, let, let's not deal with hocus. Listen, let, let's not deal with hocus. You have to deal with some of the earliest. Let, listen, listen. Let's not let's not deal with. The earliest. The earliest. No, 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 no. 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 Let's deal with the Holy Spirit, yes? Let's deal with the Holy Spirit. Let's stick to the Holy Spirit. Yeah? That I will send the, the Spirit of the truth. Alhamdulillah, that does not mean it's God. The Spirit of the truth. Okay, let's, let's understand something, yeah? Nowhere does the New Testament say the Holy Spirit is co-equal Trinity with the Father and the Son. Nowhere. Okay, so let's establish that first. Second way. I hope you. No, no. We're filming this. It's going to go on our YouTube channel, EF Tower, yeah? Feel free to comment. Feel free to take my email. It isn't an issue. Yeah, go for it. See, if you want to establish truth, we establish truth. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Now, you're carrying concepts which are not substantiated by your book. That's the problem you have. Every concept I carry is qualified by my book. So you believe the Trinity is, is Father, Son, and Mary? Or you believe that's uh, one of three? Is he really saying this? Yeah, yeah I'm really saying All right. This. Just, just one second. I am really saying. Okay, so you think the Quran says that the very Jesus and uh, there's, two, there's two references, implicit references to the Trinity. Uh, tell me what they are. I can't remember. I can't give you chapter and verse. Oh, you can't. No, I don't, I don't want chapter and verse. I just want okay. the verse. Well, I can't even give you eye. So, so, so what are you going to do? There's three. There's two references that I know. I'll tell you exactly what it says. Where, where Allah, Allah is speaking to Jesus. What's he say? And, and, and he's saying, where, where, where did they say that you're one of three? No, I didn't say that. Or, that see, 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 either you, Mary, and the Father are the Trinity. It doesn't say that. Then correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Patrick, Patrick, please don't, 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 don't embarrass me. yourself. I, I don't mind about embarrassing myself. Don't, very kind of you to say that. I don't worry about embarrassing myself. Give me the reference about what, what it says in the Quran about what I'm referring to. So, so going back to what we were saying, yeah? If you, do you want to um, understand what you want to do? Sin? Did you say you want to talk about sin? Do you want to establish the Holy Spirit is God? All right, let, let me ask you that question one more time. No, I'm going to ask you the question. I'm going to ask you the question. Do you accept if the Trinity is... if the Trin You know why it's going around in circles? Because she says something and then she says the opposite. But I didn't say the opposite. I'll tell you why I did. I'll tell you why I did. All right. What I said was, I think she had a No. No, 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 no. No, she said, she said, she said, she said. I think your words were the crux of Christianity. I didn't say that you're no. getting tied up in small. Okay, but this is not small. This is the greatest commandment. It's not small. It's the greatest commandment. The Trinity. The first commandment and the greatest commandment, according to Jesus. Lord your God with all your heart. No, Hear O Israel. Hear O Israel. The Lord thy God is one. United one. Does it say united one? 
Yeah. It doesn't say United. Yeah. 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 All right, right. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's what we're doing here. Say love your neighbor as yourself. That's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. Well, Have you read the Quran? What's all this ISIS stuff then? What's all this Ku Klux Klan? Huh? What's about the Westboro Baptist Church? No, well, you're quoting. You're quoting extreme versions of Islam. I'll quote extreme versions of Christianity. See? What's, What's extreme Christianity then? Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan. Do you agree with the Ku Klux Klan? What's this got to do with Well, she brought up ISIS. So I'll bring up Ku Klux Klan. Okay. I'll bring up uh, IRA. I'll bring up uh, Timothy McVeigh. The Oklahoma bomber. You can't bring them up. Why? What's what they did? They never used. They never used Field scripture to justify what they're in. They never used scripture to say this is why. They I accept that. I accept that. I accept that. Bad example. They didn't. Bad example. Okay. okay. No, no. I will rescind that. I'll bring up the Crusaders. But did they use scripture? Yes. Did Carried the cross in front of them. Butchered everyone. But scripture didn't say. What did they just say? You Christians don't follow scripture. That's the whole point. What you believe as Christians is not supported by your book. That's the problem. Well, you have to be perfect. Perfect. <laughs> No, no one's saying it's perfect. No one's saying nobody's perfect. But if you want to bring up ISIS and all that, I'll bring up the Crusaders. I'll bring up Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma bomber. Anyway, the Holy Spirit. I think, I think your question was, why were you uh, a Muslim? And I think you probably answered that more than I. No, but I want to know why you're a Christian. Why am I a Christian? Am I not allowed to ask that question? No, no, then I started challenging it, and then you jumped in, then you jumped in, then you jumped in. Yes. No, she keeps saying, oh, Trinity doesn't matter, Trinity doesn't matter. But it clearly does, according to you. It does to you, yeah, it clearly matters. To you it does? It does matter. It doesn't exactly matter to me, because that's not the basis of my faith. What's the basis of your faith? Let's deal with that. The basis of my faith is that I believe that God above is an all-good, all-knowing God who loves people, sent his son. Because we are not perfect, because we are sinful. Is that what the Bible says? We can't get to heaven by ourselves. Is that what the Bible says? So the only way, the only sacrifice. That's not what the Bible says. That we could, that he could. Should it? To All right. Get us to heaven, One second. To sacrifice himself, which shows let, let, that we should live our Let life. me paraphrase what you just said. You just said he the asked, only way. He asked her a question. I yeah. know you're not letting her answer. No, I. That's the basis of she's Christianity. No, she's answered it. She's answered it. What? I asked her what's the crux. She said to me, the only way we can get rid of sin. Before, before you even let her, she didn't even get to finish. She, I heard what you said. You said the only way to get rid of sin is to believe God sent his son to die for our sins because we can't get our sins rid of our sins any other way. Is that correct or not? We are not. God, we are low, we are human. Right. We Can we get rid of our sins without a blood sacrifice or not? No. No? That's why Jesus Right. So no? 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 Uh, no? Can we get rid of our sins without a blood sacrifice? No. All right. Uh, well... Wait, wait, no, wait, before you go, before you go, you can't just make a statement like that and run. I know Patrick's trying to save you, but you can't do that. Okay. The young ladies here believe the only way they can remove their sin is through blood sacrifice. So we're going to show them wrong from their Bible. Well, I'm going to show you how you're wrong. You can keep with the rhetoric, but let me show you how you're wrong from your book. Is that okay? I'll read from your book. Are you ready? Now you believe we inherit the sin of Adam also, is that correct? Yes. Oh, okay. So we inherit the sin of Adam, so we're responsible for his sin. Yes. Yeah? And the only way we can get rid of this sin is what? Blood sacrifice. Yeah? Yes. All right. Alhamdulillah. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Are you ready? This is in Ezekiel 18.30. Is Ezekiel 18.30. I want you to go read and reflect. Sorry? Okay, this is God speaking. Is Jesus God? If you're under the law, or if you're under Jesus. This is what God says. Now you can reflect on what God says, or you can ignore what God says. All right, let me read it, and then this is your scripture, so have some respect for your scripture. Go on. There's different dispensations in the Bible. There's a dispensation of Adam, there's Adam, isn't there? 
Is this sin sacrifice? What's the question? Patrick, you, you've got the Trinity of the Quran wrong, so no disrespect, you're no help to these girls. Who oh, okay. okay. is actually engaged with my question, so I don't want to tell you about that. But anyway, what's, what's the question? I don't know what he's going to say. Talk to you when you say on the Okay. Okay, but hold on. Whenever you take it from the Old Testament, you need to think about it because the New Testament is grace because they brought Jesus in the New Testament. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying is, in the Old Testament, they didn't need a blood sacrifice. Is that what you're saying? No, they, they did. They did. Hold well, on. They had to fight. Like, well, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Two things here. You've got two problems here. I'll explain. Yeah? Okay. Animal sacrifice is unintentional sin, according to the Old Testament. Yeah? Animal sacrifice did not cover intentional sin. It only covered unintentional sin. So the, the sin you didn't realize you'd done. Yeah? This is what animal sacrifice... No, listen, listen. The, my, my sister, just listen. And then there was the sister, just listen. No, no, no. Do you want me, I, I can go to that verse as well if you like. Well, listen. We've got to establish something here. If you believe blood sacrifice is necessary for forgiveness of sins, yeah? That's what you're saying. According to the Old Testament as well, yeah? And you, then you're saying that the animal sacrifice... No, no. But the animal sacrifice you're saying is what they used before Jesus, yes? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's a few problems you're going to have, and I'll explain them to you very, very quickly. First thing, animal sacrifice, according to the Old Testament, did not... Forgive. One second. One second. One second. Listen. Just listen. 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 Okay. 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 We're talking about the Old Testament here, aren't we? So we're talking. No. I'll tell you why it does have relevance. Let me. Ex no. No. Let, 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 let me explain to you. Yeah. Why it does matter to you today as well. What I'm saying now. Yeah. Just understand this, please. All right. I'm quoting from your scripture, so just have some respect for your scripture as well. All right. So, first of all, I want to establish... Uh, don't you believe in the Old Testament as well? Not this, no. Really? But you do. Like bits. No. No, we don't. <laughs> you do, though. No, no. We can talk about that in a minute if you like. No, no, no. We can talk about that in a minute if you like. If you want to learn something today and go away and reflect about something, and, and maybe even consider, am I wrong? Yeah? Because if you had to learn the truth... But you need to consider that. Well, if you give me something to reflect, no problem, alhamdulillah. But let's just deal with this initially. Because you've got... Your first misconception is this. Yeah? Blood sacrifice of animals was not for all sin. First thing. It was only for... Listen, just listen, just, just listen, just listen, just listen, just listen, just listen. We've got two of these, one of these, just listen. Before Jesus, before Jesus, I'm talking before Jesus now, before Jesus. No, I'll come to Jesus. I'll, no, 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 okay. Well, if you let me speak, I, I'd spell it out, innit? But the problem is you realise, you know why? Because you've not stopped talking. Because you've not stopped talking. You're talking, not making your point. No, because... No, just really bad. See, if you don't talk, I can speak, isn't it? Hurry up. All right. So your first misconception is the idea that blood sacrifice is for all sin. It's not. That's the first misconception. You need to check. All right. So you need to check that out. That's the first thing. Second thing. I'm going to read it for you. I'll read it. Verse 1830. What is this of? This is Ezekiel 1830. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to... His ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn from your transgressions and sin will not be your downfall. Right? So God says, according to Ezekiel, to get rid of sin, you repent. Right? That's the first thing. So your Bible is against this idea that you need a blood sacrifice. That's the first point. That's the first point. Second problem you have now. You believe Jesus then became the final sacrifice of no more animals, yeah? Is that correct? He was the final sacrifice. Uh, right. If this is the case, why are animal sacrifices going to recommence when the temple's rebuilt? Because that's a Jewish thing. No, no, no. It is. Yeah. Where did you get that from? Your Bible. This is Do you believe the temple's going to be rebuilt? It will be. Definitely. Right. According to the Bible, when God describes this temple and how it's going to be rebuilt and the size of its pillars and the breadth of its halls and all of this description, yeah? This is, is are you listening? Are you listening? Us. That's L listen, listen. Is this God speaking? Yeah, you're not, not, you're not listening either. You're not listening to What me. are you talking about? And because you're saying ask? that's us, it's not us. Well, it will be. You know why? Because the problem you've got, I'll explain the problem you have. Because when the temple's rebuilt after Jesus, yeah, God says animal sacrifice will recommence. Why? 
Because it's not us. Who's who's you? Who did Jesus die for? Read, read Who did Jesus die for? Hold on, hold on. Read Revelation. Okay? Who did Jesus die for? Read a commentary and read Revelation and you will see. I, you want me to ignore the prophets? The temple. No, I, I'm telling you, in addition to this, read Revelation. Listen. The temple. Why are animal sacrifices going to recommence? Hold on. Okay. So, can you ask me? Yes. Why are you so passionate? So, so against Christianity? Has something happened in your life? No, nothing at all. That you are like so close? Not at all. I, I, I look at you guys as I look at Hindus, as I look at any one of the false beliefs. Can you imagine if you put the passion that you have towards trying to misinterpret the Bible into... What are you talking about? I haven't misinterpreted anything. I quoted it verbatim. Trying to fight against, fight against Christianity. I'm not trying to fight against, you know, Islam. I would just, I am just saying that I'm a Christian and I believe in that. And so, so if you're a Hindu in India, you believe in Hinduism and Ganesh and believe in that. So that doesn't mean it's true, does it? But I'm just... I, I, Your geographical location where you're born I, and the family you're brought up in doesn't determine truth. I just find that you're very, very, you know, passionately against Christianity. Of course I am. This, of course I am. Why it's paganism. Why are you so passionately against Christianity? Why? Because I care for you. What does it say? Love my neighbour. I care for you. Right. So show me my errors and I'll show you your errors and we'll see who has the errors. Right. right, right, right. So I'll say to you again, look. You know when you, you think something's right in your head, but it's not, and you can't see it for the wooden tree. Uh, yes, that's you. That's you. <laughs> no, no. Okay, all I've done. You, I've asked you about your beliefs. The Bible's against your beliefs. It's not. You it's believe crazy. you believe a blood sacrifice gets rid of sin. The Bible disagrees. You believe that yes, yes, yes. No, Bible disagrees he's with you. Disagree. Really? He's kind of so what does Ezekiel mean when he says, repent and your sins are forgiven? I've explained to you. Well, explain that. I've explained it. No, you haven't. Explain, explain that. Bible. Explain that. So if you take if you take the Bible as a whole and you read, so you can read from like the Old Testament and that was when you were under the law. But we No, can you explain? that verse where God says no, yeah no, if you repent your sins will be forgiven I'm, I'm going to explain it to you the Bible. Yes. repent yes. and your sins are forgiven that's yes. forgiven no blood sacrifice that's the whole message your sins are forgiven because God Jesus died no 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 this is Ezekiel talking there is no Jesus here that's, this is what I'm saying if we just look at the Bible for our time if we're looking at it as a whole no no you're just looking at the Bible now and forgetting the old time that's the difference I'm not no, no, we can look at the Old, the old Testament helps us understand. You're ignoring the Old Testament. We are, we certainly are not. We okay, not so God in the Old Testament, what does he say about the wicked man who turns from his wickedness? What will happen? Will his sins be remembered? I don't know what verse All right, that, no, here's a, okay, Ezekiel. Okay. Do, did you know that God says that if you repent, he'll forgive your sins? Yes, that's all. Without a blood sacrifice? No, without a blood sacrifice. So where's the blood sacrifice mentioned there? What? Where's the blood sacrifice mentioned there? It's just one verse out of the whole Bible. All right, show me a verse where God says you require a blood sacrifice to forgive your sins. But it's not, it's not one verse. How, if, I, show me anywhere. I do so not know my message. Bible. All right, this is a problem. You, like, you don't know your Bible. I do know my Bible. You should have stopped there. You don't know your Bible. I've read my Bible many times. You know Christianity. But you don't know your Bible. Now, I know your Bible. I do know Acts. You don't. Okay, show me anywhere in the Bible, going back to what we said before then, the Holy Spirit is God. I can't tell you right now. The whole you can't tell me. Again, stop. Can't tell me, because it doesn't say it. Just because somebody doesn't know their Bible off the verse. It doesn't say God. It doesn't say God. I didn't mention Muhammad. I didn't mention Muhammad. I didn't mention Muhammad. I didn't mention Muhammad, did I? Did I mention Muhammad? Okay, who is it? Alhamdulillah. So where is the Holy Spirit classed as God? As a co-equal trinity? It's going back to the trinity. It's going back to the trinity. Why? Because if you... Listen to me. Can Christianity exist without a trinity? I think... Can Christianity exist without a trinity? I think what you need to do... Done. Thank you. Are you done? I'm done. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, actually, oh, what uh, you need can Christianity exist without Trinity? What you need to do is reread your Bible, right? With Me? A basis of belief. Can Christianity exist without Trinity? No. It's a, it's a rhetorical question. Oh, it can't. It can't. Why are you so afraid to defend your faith? I am. It can't. Christianity does not exist without the Trinity. You don't care about the Trinity. Read your Bible. Yeah. yeah. Jesus can't be God if there's no Trinity. So Trinity is very, very important. So anytime we try to give you an answer or ask a question. No, the lady here about ten times has said Trinity doesn't matter. If there's no Trinity, Jesus isn't God. Simple. And if Jesus isn't God, you've got a problem now because God, Jesus is not God's son, part of a Trinity, because she doesn't care about Trinity. Why she was a Christian? And now to sound like I'm saying. Do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? 
So do I she doesn't care whether Jesus is the Son of God. She doesn't. She, doesn't. she, she, doesn't. she, she did. She did. Yeah. What do you say about the Trinity? It doesn't matter. It's not important in the whole. Movie. What is important? You're picking holes in tiny ways. Do you accept if there's no Trinity? Do you accept if there's no Trinity? That if there is no, no, but if there is no Trinity, if there is no Trinity, you said Trinity doesn't matter. I said. So let's establish it then. It does matter. So let's let's establish it then. What she was meaning was that the crux of Christianity, huh? the message of Christianity, and, 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 and what's the message of Christianity? Jesus died on the cross. Right. Why why is it so important? Jesus died for your sins. Because we have Catholics. We have our sins. Right. God doesn't say what you just said. There's no other way. Well, God doesn't say that. But the Bible, the message. The Bible doesn't say what you just said. It does. No, it doesn't. Show me what Jesus said that. The whole message. No, no, just show me. No, no, you keep saying the whole message, the whole message. God doesn't say it. Oh, sorry, forgive me. Anytime you try to speak, you just keep saying, show me, show me, show me. And we're trying to speak, and you just keep talking, and you don't let us speak. Oh, show me then. So the whole message of the Bible is that Jesus came where does God say that and where does Jesus say that? But this is what I'm saying, I'm giving you an overview. Of the no, no, I'm not interested in the overview, I'm interested in Jesus saying it or God. Because you're going against what God teaches and Jesus teaches. No, we, we do have to go to I, I don't blame you. So we have a train to get. No, 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 no. Have to, but I think the initial question was answered a long time ago and it's just the best Yeah. But, um, no, no, no. You need to watch this video and realize who was talking the most. No, no, you did. Why? Because when I asked the question here, and she said Trinity doesn't matter, and then I said it, and then I said, No, no, no. You didn't mean the Trinity doesn't matter. You were just meaning the whole process. I am trying to get to the point. No, I understand. But when I said to her, right. That's what she no, right, 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 right. And when I try to challenge that idea, it does matter. I said, if the Trinity is not true, and then you went, well, the Trinity is true. <laughs> so all of a sudden now, all of a sudden now, we, I have to now prove the Trinity is not true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But we're never going to agree that you're Muslim and I'm a Christian. No, 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 no. Stop for that. What are you talking about? What, you can't learn nothing new? You know everything? Absolutely not. Right, do you, think, do you not think there could be something in your social condition and you haven't learned yet? Definitely not. I think you're twisting what we're saying. You need to watch your time. Anyway, check out the YouTube channel. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. They've got scattered. Um, yeah, basically, the girls come across to ask me about challenging me about why I believe what I believe as a Muslim. I reversed it on them and asked them why they believe what they believe as Christians. They give me their ideas and understanding of what they believe as Christians, but they couldn't support anything of what they believe from the Bible. They hid behind the idea, I don't know my Bible, I don't know my Bible, I don't know my Bible. I read from the Bible. I showed them verses from the Bible. They couldn't show me one place where Jesus says, I'm dying for your sins, that you need me to die for you to believe in me. They didn't show me anywhere God says the same. So here's the thing you see. If you come to the park, have a little bit of knowledge or have a little bit of humbleness to hear the answers. Because if you don't, you're going to get burned and rinsed. And it happened again.